one thing that I felt that I hadn't seen uh, was was a really subjective, personal kind of portrait of the people at this time going into space, uh, almost shot as though it were a documentary. I think um, I, I was watching a lot of the archival footage that the astronauts themselves uh, took um, during their missions. Uh, also the Life magazine photography of the families on the ground. Um, and it just seemed to me that there, was a, that there was room for a deeply human story, very intimate, very subjective, very up close and personal to Neil and Janet and Neil's fellow astronauts um, that could make the audience feel like they were experiencing this moment in history in real time. To the begin the movie when Neil joins NASA in 61 and end it with the moon landing and just look at that period of history. Um, which was, uh, 61 is around when Kennedy made his famous declaration uh, that we should go to the moon. We started with Jim Hansen's incredible book, uh, First Man, and uh, I was lucky enough to meet Josh Singer, uh, the writer in Los Angeles. I knew I needed someone who was as adept with research as he was with storytelling to kind of help me with this project, and so he jumped on. This was about five years ago. Um, he started researching. I was off shooting La La Land actually while he was doing a lot of his research. Um, and as soon as I was done with La La Land, he had drafts of the script. We started going back and forth. Um, Ryan came on board, started doing his own research. Um, so it became this kind of collaborative process over the course of several years. I think that there, there, there could have been a story about Neil Armstrong, a movie about Neil Armstrong for years and years and years and years and years. And I think it takes a filmmaker like Damien to see that in order to tell the story, you, you can't just tell the story that everyone already knows. Um, and he wants to tell the story of a man who, who was at the center of, of this incredible achievement. No, I, I took flying lessons. <laughs> and then I learned that I would be a terrible pilot. Because it's a, a really uh, specific kind of person that uh, that can be a pilot, and, and not only that, but it's, what was even more helpful in terms of Neil is that he was a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base after his, his service in Korea. So he, uh, he would intentionally get into planes that have never been flown and push them to their breaking point. You know, that's, that's a very unique person. It's very different from me, and it was important for me to realize that. I thought Damien's instinct to take a personal approach to the story was really inspired and I, I found it personally very inspiring. The film was shot like that, it was shot like a documentary and so it feels incredibly immediate. It's not lauded or made to feel like this incredibly um, epic moment. It's very, very personal and true to just one person. Well, we, you know, we found out that Neil was in fact someone that, that liked musicals and was a musical person. Um, there's a specific piece of music that we found that both Neil and Janet liked in college called Music from the Moon, ironically. And the, there's a song called Lunar Rhapsody, which is, uh, plays an important part in, in the movie. It's something that Neil ultimately played on his mission to the moon. And I think was part of the inspiration between having the theremin be uh, part of our, our, our score.